boys and girls, welcome back to Blueprint Bible Story Time. I wanted to start by showing you a tool that you might have seen around the house. Do you guys know what this is used for? This is something that's very basic and common in construction. This is very important. And this is called a measuring tape. It measures how tall, how wide things are so that you make sure that you cut things the right size to fit together. Maybe you've seen something like this at home. Maybe your parents use this to see if something fits into a space, or maybe they build something at home and they use something like that. Do you guys know how tall you are? When you get your height checked, you know, sometimes I use this for my kids too, but maybe when you go to the doctor, or maybe there's some dashes on your wall to keep track of your growth, um, to keep track of whether you're growing, how tall you are. Um, and so the, there are many different ways that we measure things. Do you know by any chance how tall the highest building is? The tallest skyscraper in the entire world is in a place called Dubai, and it is 2,717 feet tall and has 163 floors. Wow, isn't that huge? Can you imagine ever being that tall? Do you think you'll ever be that tall? Probably not, right? Well, yesterday we talked about um, being able to measure up to God's standards. Can we ever measure up to God's standards? Just like we can never be as tall as that tallest skyscraper in the world, we will never be able to measure up to God's standard, His perfect and holy standard. Yesterday we talked about Romans 3.20, and how it says that we all fall short of the glory of God. And that is why we need the help of Jesus to make sure that we are able to be forgiven through his death on the cross, not by our own means, because we will never be able to reach that goal. Today we're going to talk about another man in the Bible. And today's story comes from Acts 26, 1-9. And it's about a man named Paul. Um, in today's story, this man is in jail. And do you have any idea why he's in jail? He's in jail for talking about Jesus and sharing about who Jesus is. Because back in those days, people didn't really like people that talked about Jesus. They were not allowed to. And so they found that as an excuse to put them into jail and treat them like they were criminals. So Paul was in jail, but this king named King Agrippa, they wanted to hear his story. They had heard about Paul. They wanted to hear his story. So Paul got a chance to share his story and how he came to know Jesus in front of this king. And you know what the crazy thing is? His name wasn't always Paul. His name used to be Saul. A long time ago, before he met Jesus, he was someone who hurt and killed Christians. He really didn't like Christians. He didn't think they were right. So he was the one to hurt them. And so this is the kind of sinner that he was. And so when he hear, we hear the story that he tells to this king, we can see that his heart was so full of sin and hate toward Jesus and Christians, and that he hurt them. But he tells it as a wonderful testimony of what Jesus has done for his life, just like yesterday, how Jesus met Matthew and it completely changed his life. So he tells about how Jesus encountered him on the road to Damascus. He was on the way to kill Christians, and he saw a flashing light that blinded him and it actually blinded him for three days. And while he was in that place, when that light sh shone on him and he was blinded, he heard a voice. He heard the voice of Jesus saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Why are you hurting me? And when he heard that voice, and after three days of being blind, he became a completely different person. So much so that his name was changed to Paul. And he became one of the biggest followers of Jesus that changed from someone who wanted to kill Christians to someone who wanted to live his whole life 
talking about how wonderful Jesus is. So this is the kind of power that knowing Jesus has in our lives. And so I want you guys to keep that in mind. If Jesus could love and forgive someone like Paul, who killed Christians, wow, that really shows how great his love is. So today's theme, today's special word is the word forgiveness. Who needed forgiveness more than anyone? That's right, Paul. You know, we only know of Paul as somebody who is great, a follower of Jesus, but we realize in today's story that he had a very dark past. He was someone who was full of sin, and yet God called him, forgave him, and made him into a completely new person. So I want you guys to take out this card right here, forgiveness. This is today's word. Today we're talking about how important it is to build a foundation in Christ. Yesterday it was the foundation of love, and today it's the foundation of forgiveness. Because of Jesus' love, we are forgiven from our sins. And that is the first step to realize how much we need Jesus in our lives. So I want to share this verse with you for today. Um, today's bonus verse is, can you guys all read this? But God proves his own love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And what was our key verse for the entire VBS? Can you guys memorize it? Let's read it together. I am sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.6. I want you guys to memorize that. Okay, so I want you to memorize and make sure that you know this verse and remember that you are a work in progress. You're not perfect, but we want to keep trying to become more like Christ. And today in my lunch pail, I have with me this flashlight. What do you think this is a reminder of? It's the light that shone on Paul, who used to be called Saul, and how that completely changed his life. So sometimes we need to be broken, just like Saul was blinded, before we can be restored and become a new person in Jesus Christ. To build a foundation, sometimes we need to be broken. That's why there's a wrecking ball that demolishes the old building so that we can become, you can build a good new building right where that used to be. So that's kind of how we are. Sometimes we need to be broken so that Jesus could rebuild us into a new creation. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today's word. We thank you that you love us so much and that you call us to be your children. And I pray that you'll help us to uh, just focus on your word today and make sure that we remember that we are completely forgiven. And this is a free gift from God. And so we pray that we will just be confident in who we are in you as we build a foundation in your love. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.